So I know for sure that it's at this root. The last big plate that I put over there uh, right is there. about right here, about another foot and a half down. That's a nice little piece, look at that. See? Nice little smoky coming up with some feldspar action. Yes. We're back down to the level where Travis left off and he just pulled a Tessin. Let's see about this one right here. Mm. Oh, it's on the top. I want to check that one out. Have a look at it. Yeah. Oh, nice. Feldspar plate. So plates facing down? Correct. Which is a good thing. It's nice feldspar though. Golly, look at that. Mm. And there's going to be more coming out from down there. More feldspar. And the smoky on that one. Good feldspar. Look at that sucker. We're starting to go down a rabbit hole here. Awesome. It's a function. It continues. Oh yeah, there's feldspar all over it. Oh yeah, the, uh, yeah, the, <laughs> the fat Yeah, so that answers the question. We've determined that the vein is running like this and continuing that way, it's good. Gatlin was just working up in this area and it's good. And then we were like, okay, these blocks are so awkward to get out. Let's just figure out if they're getting bigger or smaller going down. <laughs> Choose to abandon if it's getting smaller. And then here comes the big smoky. So... <sighs> Yep. Deeper we go. That's right. This one from right beneath the peg that Travis is about to pull out. Hopefully, it might stick back on this. Oh, on this plate. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, look at you can see it's a good feldspar plate. Oh, yeah. Those are some good size feldspar crystals. Cleaned up, this is gonna look like a whole different <laughs> yeah, thing. It's gorgeous. <laughs> That's pretty red. Oh, it's not even ready. Oh, oh no. We may have more plates going down. I think that's exactly what that is. Um, oh, pretty, see that smooth? Pretty, oh, wait, what you get? Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, don't you love gloves? There you go. Yeah. But maybe this guy. Oh, it's a thick that's a, feldspar. That's a big feldspar. Golly. Definitely a plate. This was a shorter video, but it's not reflective of the depth of the pocket. The pegmatite certainly continued. By the end of the day, we had a waterfall of snow melt raining into the pocket and we covered it back up because we wanted to look for other unique minerals in other places. Speaking of, Travis did find the most gorgeous blue fluorite that I've ever seen come out of the ground later on that day. And I look forward to when he shares that on his Instagram, Can You Dig It Colorado? Speaking of unusual minerals, let's have a very detailed look at this microcline cluster. After cleaning these up, I noticed three of the clusters had these tiny crystals on them. This one is only three fourths of a millimeter. <laughs> so let's have a look at a little bit bigger crystal and see if you can identify it. I'm gonna bust out some hints. First hint is that I did do a streak test and the streak is colorless. Streak is scratching a mineral on unglazed porcelain and it leaves behind a trail of dust, which is helpful for getting the identity. So from a colorless streak, we know that it's not a metal, not an oxide, and we can also see that these are octahedral crystals. So that puts us into one of two crystal systems, either the cubic, AKA isometric, or tetragonal. 
And the next hint is that these fluoresce in shortwave ultraviolet light. Using the ultraviolet, we've found another little button. And that's the last hint. I had two possibilities in mind. One, an obscure fluorite or zirconium silicate, zircon. So if you guessed zircon, congratulations, good job. These three have not been cleaned up, though after noticing this unique mineral, they're now worth the time to do so. I sent Travis a text and was like, what's up with these obscure octahedrons? And are they zircon or fluorites? And he too believes that these are zircons, as it wouldn't be a first for him in this section of Pikes Peak Batholith. This is why we search for pegmatites. This is what makes them fun. These incompatible elements like zirconium get concentrated into these late stage veins and form these really wild combinations of minerals. Go get out there.